Mheshimiwa Samia Sulu Hassan, Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania. Mheshimiwa Hakainde Ichilema, Rais wa Jamhuri ya Zambia. Mheshimiwa viongozi wa serikali ya Tanzania na Zambia. Mheshimiwa waandishi wa habari wageni walikwa. Mheshimiwa Rais mbele yako ni waandishi wa habari ambao wanafuatilia ziara Rais wa Zambia hapa nchini ziara siku moja na mmeanza ziara hiyo kwa kumpokea wave translation gadgets which you can select channel 1 for the english and channel number 2 for swahili translation which goes simultaneously thanks mheshimiwa rais kama nilivyosema awali kwamba ni ziara ya rais wa Zambia hapa nchini kwa mwaliko wako ziara siku moja ambapo ulianza kwa kumpokea rasmi na mapokezi rasmi yaliyofanyika katika uwanja wa mataifa wa mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere jijini Dar es Salaam na baadaye mkafanya mazungumzo ya nyi wawili na kufuatiwa na mazungumzo rasmi kama nilivyotambulisha kwa mbali yenu ni waandishi wa habari ambao wanataka kufahamu lengo na dhumuni ya zara hii na yale ambayo yamezoa kuzungumza katika mazungumzo yenu kwa kwanza kwa heshima na tadhima naomba nikukaribishe mheshimiwa Samia Sulu Hassan Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania ili uanze kuzungumza na wandisha na baadaye uweze kumkaribisha mheshimiwa Rais Chilema ili naye aweze kuzungumza na wandishi. Tafadhali. Your Excellency, my brother Chilema, the President of the Rais wa Jamhuri ya Zambia na ujumbe wako ndugu wana habari mabibi na mabwana kwa sababu tunaongea na waandishi wa habari na mkutano huu una unaendelea mbashara katika mbo vyetu vya habari vyote Tanzania kwa hiyo watu wangu wanafuatilia kwa hiyo ninatapenda ni ongee lugha wanaoelewa na fahamu kwamba mna vifaa vya ukalimani nina uhakika mtakuwa mkifuatilia na nitaomba niwe nizungumze kwenye lugha yetu ya hapa waheshimiwa ndugu waandishi wa habari waheshimiwa viongozi mlioko hapa leo hii tumempokea ndugu yetu Rais wa Jamhuri ya Zambia Mheshimiwa Akiendi Chilema ambaye amekuja kwa ziara rasmi ya kiserikali tulimpokea na tumeanza naye mazungumzo Katika mazungumzo yetu tulianza kwa kusemeshana kwamba Tanzania na Zambia ni nchi ambazo zilikuwa karibu sana ni nchi ambazo zilikuwa zina urafiki mkubwa na undugu mbali ya urafiki. Wazee wetu Julius Kambarage Nyerere Hayati na Hayati Mzee Kaunda walituwekea misingi mizuri sana ya ushirikiano. Lakini wazee hawa ndio walio shirikiana kuleta ukombozi wa kusini mwa bara la Afrika. Lakini kwa upande wao katika nchi zetu mbili wakatuanzishia mambo ambayo walitaka yadumu milele na yatuunganishe sisi tulioachiwa na mabadiliko mbalimbali ya kiuchumi na kisiasa kwenye ulimwengu yametufanya kidogo tumetengeneza umbali baina yetu na kwa maana hiyo tumekubaliana na ndugu yangu Ichilema kwamba turudi turudishe ule udugu kama tulivyoachwa na wazazi wetu lakini katika kurudisha udugu tukaangalia maeneo yote ambayo yatatufanya turudi kwanza tukaangalia uhusiano wa kisiasa tukasema nchi zetu kwa yoyote yale yaliyotokea lakini lazima turudi sisi kama viongozi wa nchi tuwaongoze watu wetu waelewane vizuri lakini la pili tukazungumza suala la usalama wa nchi zetu tumeangalia kwenye ukanda huu mambo yanayotokea 
ugaidi na mambo mengine kadhaa tukasema turudi tuwe na ushirikiano mkubwa kwenye mambo ya usalama wa nchi zetu lakini pia tukaangalia hali ya uchumi tukatizama nyuma na kuona miundombinu tulioachiwa na wazee wetu tazara na tazama pipeline tumezifikisha wapi leo tazara haihudumii vyema nchi zetu mbili tazama pipeline lengo lake lililoanzishiwa na inavyofanya leo ni tofauti kwa tumekubaliana tutupe macho huko pia tuboreshe tazara kama tuna tunaifanyia marekebisho reli iliyopo lakini tukakubaliana kwamba kwa dunia ya leo reli ni SGR kwa tumekubaliana kuwa na mradi wa pamoja tutafute fedha pamoja kupitia PPP ushirikiano na sekta binafsi pengine na wenzetu marafiki walio tujengea hiyo reli tuone jinsi tutakavyoweza kuiboresha kwenye kiwango cha SGR lakini tukatupia macho kwenye tazama kasema madhumuni ya tazama ni kwamba lile bomba likuwa linapeleka mafuta kwenye refinery yanakuwa refined ndio yanauzwa lakini lengo lile sasa limeshuka kwa kiasi kikubwa ile refinery haitumiki sana kwa maana hiyo kwa hiyo Zambia wamebadilisha sera zao kwenye mambo ya energy na sasa wanakwenda kwenye kuagiza product ambazo zimetimia petroleum products ambazo zimeshatimia badili ya ile crude au kuna jengine ndugu yangu alilitumia jina sikulishika vizuri kwa hiyo badala ya kupeleka crude oil sasa watapeleka mafuta yaliyosafishwa lakini tukakubaliana kwamba bomba lile ni dogo sana kwa hiyo kuna haja ya kujenga bomba kubwa takalopeleka mafuta kwa wingi na bandari ya Dar es Salaam na facility zilioko Tanzania ziwasaidie kupunguza uhali wa mafuta katika nchi yao kwa tumekubaliana na hilo pia lakini eneo jingine tulo litizama ni eneo la biashara na uwekezaji tumeona kwamba kuna uwekezaji wa Zambia wapo Tanzania wa Tanzania wapo Zambia wafanya biashara wanakwenda na kurudi lakini tuna vikwazo vya kikodi na visivyo vya kikodi ambavyo vinafanya biashara zetu zisikue na zisiende kama tulivyotarajia. Kwa hiyo nako tumesema tukae sekta za uwekezaji na biashara lakini taasisi zetu za kukusanya mapato na taasisi zinazoshughulika mambo ya customs tukae tuangalie Uh, wapi tumekwama nini ni kikwazo kwetu tuondoe na biashara ziende vizuri kwa hilo nalo tumekubaliana lakini hapo hapo kwenye biashara tumewazungumzia pia wafanya biashara wadogo wadogo ambao wanapovuka mipaka yetu kwenda kufanya biashara masharti wanayopewa ni makubwa kwanza permits za kuingia lakini charges wanazotozwa tozo wanazotozwa ni kubwa mno kwa tumesema mawaziri wetu wakae na waangalie jinsi ya kusaidia biashara ziendelee baina pande zetu mbili bila matatizo. Tumeliona pia tatizo ambalo limeleta vurugu kidogo hapa Tanzania juzi juzi la madereva wetu. Kwa tumekubaliana taasisi za madereva zile jumuiya zao Zambia na Tanzania tuziweke pamoja. Wazungumze na serikali zetu mbili tuangalie ni nini um, matakwa yao tuwasikilize wana haja gani wana shida gani ili serikali mbili zifanye kazi kwa pamoja kuwa kuwatatulia au kutatua shida zilizopo ili madereva wetu wafanye kazi kwa ushirikiano na wafanye kazi vizuri na tuondoe vile vikwazo pale mipakani vya kuchelewesha magari yanayopeleka biashara Tumeangalia pia sekta ya nishati <coughs> na kwenye sekta hii mbali ya tazama pipeline kuna mradi mkubwa pia unaitwa Grid Interconnectivity ya Tanzania na Zambia au TAZA ambapo huu ni mradi wa nchi tatu 
Tanzania, Zambia na Kenya. Kila mmoja ameanza kufanya shughuli kule kwao. Kwa upande wetu utekelezaji utaanza January mwakani kujenga transmission line kubwa itakayo connect na kule Kenya wanafanya kwao na Zambia amenihakikishia kwamba na wao tayari wameanza tutakwenda kuweka pool ya umeme mkubwa wa region yetu ambapo kama nchi moja itapata tatizo nchi nyingine itasafu nchi jirani au kama hatuna tatizo basi tutaweza kuuzia nchi ambazo hatuko nao pamoja. Kwa hilo nalo tumelisizama na ni green energy. Umeme unaotokana na maji. Tukatambiana kidogo. Kasema yeye yuko karibu 90% green energy. Nikamwambia na mimi by 2024 nitakuwa 80% na green energy. Nikimaliza ruhuji na rumakali nitakuwa almost 100%. Lakini gesi pia nayo Tuki convert tunahesabu ni nini green energy so we are moving i'll catch you my brother so hayo ndio tumezungumza kwa upande wa energy lakini pia tukagusia mambo ya kilimo mambo ya kilimo kwamba sisi wote ni wazalishaji wa soya soko letu ni moja china huko nyuma tulikuwa tunachukua soya Zambia tunachanganya na yetu tunapeleka lakini wachina wamegundua kwamba Zambia ni wazalishaji wakubwa wa soya kwa hiyo wamefungua soko moja kwa moja Zambia tumekubaliana tusishindane lakini tuongezeane tuengeze uzalishaji wenzetu ni mabingwa wameendelea kidogo wana mbegu nzuri tumezungumza na nikawaambia kwamba inapokuja masuala ya mbegu mnatutoza pesa nyingi sana mnatupiga sana akanambia basi let's stock tuuziane kwa bei ya kirafiki na bei ya kindugu kwa hiyo mawaziri wetu watakutana na watazungumza kwenye kilimo wenzetu mbegu zao ni nzuri mno tunanunua mbegu nyingi kutoka kwao ni kwa sababu ya bei tunakuwa na limitation nadhani tutawekeana mpangilio ambao kama pesa yetu imepwaya kidogo basi watupe mbegu tuwalipe baadaye Ayo mawaziri wetu watakuja kuzungumza. Uh, mambo ya mipakani nimeshazungumza. Lakini jengine ambalo tumezungumza ni Joint Permanent Commission. Ile tume yetu ambayo inazungumza mambo ya nchi mbili na ku, kama kuna matatizo ya zungumzo ya nyoshwe halafu tuende. Imekutana mara ya mwisho 2016. Sasa tumewataka mawaziri wa mambo ya nchi wafanye kazi haraka wakutane uh, haraka inavyowezekana ili haya tulio yazungumza yaanze kufanyiwa kazi sasa nisimalize yote mwenzangu naye anataka kueleza lakini ataongezea pale ambapo mimi nimeachia lakini kwa ujumla tumekubaliana kufanya kazi kwa pamoja na kama mmoja ana soko la kingine basi amwambie mwenziwe soko liko hapa sisi leo tumeofa soko la nyama beef lakini pia mbuzi na kondoo tuna soko kubwa tumelipata Saudi Arabia sisi pekee yetu Tanzania kwa wakati huu hatuwezi kuli, kuli, kuli kutimiza mahitaji yao tumewalika wenzetu waje tufanye mpango wa pamoja twende tukalitumie hilo soko na vivyo hivyo masoko mengine tutakayopata baina yao na sisi lakini kubwa tulilolihimiza Mawaziri wetu sasa wakaze buti na watembee. Wakaze buti na watembee kwa sababu hawa walikuwa wala hawajuani wala hawaongei. Kwa hiyo sasa waongee wajuani. Lakini sio mawaziri tu hata heads of uh, security services na wenyewe inabidi waongee watambuane na tujue wapi tunaweza tukafanya kazi pamoja. Having said that my brother it's your turn. And I, I think you have followed what I've said. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, please take a seat. Thank you very much. Uh, just to thank the president, president of Tanzania, United Republic of Tanzania. Um,
for her message. Probably. And really, nah. this is um, almost holistic. You have just fundamentally what we discussed. But because this is a press briefing, just to step aside a little bit. Thank you, President, ministers, post ministers, but also visiting ministers and the staff of the two countries. Zambia itself. So this was a familiar place. I even got on to the Tazara uh, train a couple of times because that's all I could afford then, to get on a train to come to the Islam. So fantastic. It's really nice to be here, President. And um, and once more, thank you for the things we've said. I think the president has really covered most of the issues. Um, and, uh, and all I want to do is either, you know, emphasize certain points or indeed just angle the same point uh, from, uh, from a different yeah, yeah. But by and large, that we, two countries, are bonded together by history. I think that's important, bonded together. We are the generation alive today. We are the generation bestowed with running public offices in Tanzania, in Zambia. But we have a heritage. We have relationships that were built before us. And it's our duty to nurse, to water these relationships. Political relationships, KK, Nyerere, by the way, President, we have a lot of uh, people in Zambia named Nyerere, named Julius, named Gambaraje, uh, because of that uh, twin relationship between KK and President Nyerere. So I think we really have a duty to carry on uh, that journey that our visionary leaders, independence leaders, freedom struggle leaders, independence leaders uh, that uh, caved for us, uh, for both our countries. And over time, we've had successive presidents here in Tanzania. We've had successive presidents in Zambia. And I think this generation of uh, leaders, the two of us, my sister and I, President, my sister and I, have agreed to reinvigorate uh, these relationships and really, really leverage on them. Essentially, leverage on them, meaning that we must maximize the benefits that we derive from this foundation that our leaders invested so much um, at the time. Um, most of you may not remember, uh, those who are younger, um, the liberation struggle in Southern Africa was waged, led by these two countries in terms of uh, hosting liberation uh, struggle, you know, fighters. ANC was headquartered here, the South African ANC, and then moved the headquarters to Lusaka uh, from here. So we all have this heritage that uh, is, it's, uh, is so incredible and must be utilized to the full. So there goes for cultural relationships as well. I was saying to the president also, and she reminded me, we reminded each other in our private meeting, that um, when you go to a place like Tunduma, you go to a place uh, like Nakonde on our side, Tunduma here, Nakonde on our side, we have our family members there, Namangas, one, the auntie will be Tanzanian, the uncle is Zambian. Same family, uh, because these boundaries were drawn for us by people who sat in Berlin many, many years ago, and we were not even consulted. So families were cut in between. So we really, really want people. This is a second home for us, and for Tanzanians, Zambia is a second home for you. And um, not to repeat what the president said, s alongside the building trade and investment, enhancing that, we are looking at um, leveraging our regional bodies, um, SADC, East African community, you know, Great Lakes region, again, shared platforms. The two countries would like to maximize the benefits that accrue uh, from these relationships that we have. 
And uh, there are cases where we are together in these relationships. Ministers of Foreign Affairs are familiar with this. There are sometimes we don't sit on the same regional bodies, such as Tanzania being a member of the East African community, and we are not. And obviously, we want to, in that case, work with Tanzania to make sure that we can benefit from the East African community relationships as well, although we are not direct members, and vice versa, whichever the case may be. And also at a multilateral level, um, African Union, um, uh, United Nations, we would like to work closely together. Again, we know what we want from there. What we want is to, to get the best of uh, both worlds, so to say, to benefit Tanzanians, to benefit Zambians. We are elected into office. We are not monarchs. We get elected into office, and we have to deliver for our people. And our people want jobs. Our people want businesses. Our people want to be in school. Even orphans want to be in school. But if we manage this heritage of a relationship properly, it means we can grow the Tanzanian economy, we can grow the Zambian economy, and deliver for our people in terms of the basic needs, as I have tried to articulate, building on what the President has said already. And essentially also, um, one asset that uh, I want to emphasize that we share, not just the two of us, but also with other countries, Congo, Burundi, uh, is Lake Tanganyika so that we work together on that lake to maximize the value that lake can deliver to both our peoples, both our countries, the ports around there, modernization, but also the badges, the transport badges, so that uh, we can harmonize the regulatory frameworks, uh, we can harmonize uh, the fiscal side, the taxation side, around the operation of our, our common facility, which we dearly, dearly, uh, love so much and again uh, maximize uh, uh, the benefits that we derive from there. Uh, I did indicate to the president and she was gracious. Um, we held it away from the ministers there but we can say it now because the media will carry it uh, broader and deeper. Uh, the issue of uh, the mining sector that um, Tanzania has done very well in bringing artisan miners, artisanal, artisanal miners, let's call it that, small miners, arranging them properly, transiting them from away from illegal miners to legal miners, and also creating opportunities for those of our people who need the governmental support more than most of the people seated in this room. And so the licensing part, but also the order, because if you don't organize mining in that level and it's chaotic, it can breed extremism as well. It can finance things that you don't want to finance, to be honest. And so my team will be sitting down. In fact, my Minister of Mines was here. I reminded the President. Maybe he didn't announce his uh, presence properly. He could have sneaked in here. Uh, but uh, he was here to understand really how you have organized the mining sector, small-scale miners. And I'm told there are millions of Tanzanians who are involved in the artisanal mining but providing them with the technical skills, providing them with the financial support, providing them with, more importantly, the off-tech market, the off-tech market into the processors. And I think that's uh, what we, again, can learn from each other. We have quite a bit of gold, Madam. Before we were told we didn't have gold, all of a sudden there's gold everywhere uh, across our country. So we want to learn from you and organize ourselves properly. So those are some of the benefits of working together closely. I can go on with assets around here. She talked about that. Again, the twin brothers, KK and Nyerere, created certain opportunities for each other because they were visionary. We are land linked. We don't want Madam President, my sister, to keep on being reminded that we are landlocked. We are land linked. So, so, <laughs> so, so but the, the two leaders were visionary because they understood the mutuality of their locations and the, the assets she talked about, Tazara, Tazama, but also the, the port assets that we like to work on again for, for mutual, mutual good, including Mutwara. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Yes. Yeah, Mutwara there. So where we would like to, I think some of my colleagues sooner or later will visit those areas. And I think by and large, 
President, you've covered it very well, and um, I could have easily sat there and said, as she has said, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Um, so, and truly, you have covered it very well, as you, as, as you said it. The um, only little issue that I want to raise here is to do with the way of working. Because we created a gap for some reason, and the two of us don't accept whatever that reason or reasons were, that somehow we stayed a little bit apart. Zambia and Tanzania cannot stay apart for a day. So we will work in a structured way so that we are interacting every day. Some of our people will be interacting every day. Is that true? Yes. Tunduma Nakonde is every minute they are interacting with each other. On that Lake Tanganyika, it's every minute they are interacting with each other. And if they don't interact with each other properly, they will start harming each other. That's not what we want. We want them to love each other, to support each other in a structure. So we will have a structured way of working going forward. Ministers, first led by our, the two of us, and the ministers such that uh, we'll be working, interacting daily, monthly, every year, and all the years. Because that's where it is. That's the way God placed us as one people, sharing uh, land, sharing so many things that has already been, already been articulated. But in a structured way such that when we have a piece of work or pieces of work to be done, they will be stratified. They will be, they will be isolated. This is the work we need to do to resolve or to enhance what we do, be it trade, be it uh, consolidating our products into markets that demand them or value addition or whatever. This is what we want to do. These are the things that need to be unlocked. And when should they be unlocked? By who? And they will be watching. We will be in a good position to watch. The hard work must be done by the ministers, permanent secretaries, directors, rank and file, even ordinary Tanzanians, ordinary Zambians. I think the president, once more, thank you so much for this visitation, for this courtesy, for this conversation, this business conversation, and which enriches our relationship. And we don't want to let the, the rope slip again. Agreed. Such that even when we are not there, others will come after us, they will be obligated to continue and to do the right things. The only thing, Madam President, I would like to say, my minister has reminded me, I have handlers who are quite um, um, strict with me, is to officially invite the president for an, a state visit. The president was gracious to attend our inauguration. Um, I was so humbled. But when she settles down, when the two ministers can um, lead us into this, we would like to pay back this gesture, this hospitality, by hosting my sister, the president of Tanzania. Thank you so much. Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante sana, Mwishmiwa Haikande Chilema, Raisi wa Jamhuri ya Zambia. Asante sana, Mwishmiwa Samia Sulu Hassan, Raisi wa Jamhuri ya Mungano wa Tanzania. Kwa kile mbacho, yungwezi na mbatukaya. Kwa kile mbacho, meweza kueleza vyombo vya bari kutoka hapa nchini na wale wenzetu kwa Zambia. Na muda fupi, Mwishmiwa Maraisi, mta shuhudia utiwaji saini wa mikataba mitatu ambapo ni melezo mikataba miwili itausiana na maswala ya ulinzi na mkataba moja utausiana na maswala ya utamaduni na sanaa naomba kwa wale ambao unashulikia maswala mkataba tafadhali tuweze ku na mikataba hiyo itasainiwa na mawaziri wa mambo nje wa Tanzania na yule waziri wa mambo nje wa Zambia asante
Mheshimiwa Rais kama nilivyotambulisha awali kwamba mikataba hiyo ni mikataba mitatu ambapo mikataba miwili inahusiana na masuala ya ulinzi na mkataba mmoja ni masuala ya sanaa na utamaduni na sasa ndio wanabadilishana mikataba hiyo na kuonyesha kwa nini Mheshimiwa Rais, Mheshimiwa Rais baada ya kukamilika utoaji saini wa mikataba hiyo mitatu na sasa ni muombe waziri wa mambo ya nje na ushirikiano wa Afrika Mashariki wa Tanzania Mheshimiwa Liberata Mula Mula ili aweze kusoma community. Mheshimiwa Waziri tafadhali. Your Excellency President um, Samia Sulu Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Your Excellency Akainde Ichilema, President of the Republic of Zambia, dear colleagues, ministers, heads of security and defense organs, Fellow Tanzanians listening in, our dear brothers and sisters from Zambia and in Zambia, Excellency, allow me to start by greeting in our usual greeting. Naomba ni wasalim kwa jina la jamuli ya mungane wa Tanzania. Dear members of the press, I have the honor to read out the joint communique issued on the occasion of the state visit by the President of the Republic of Zambia, His Excellency Akainde Ichilema, to the United Republic of Tanzania. At the invitation of Her Excellency President Samia Sulu Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, His Excellency President Yakhainde Ichilema, President of the Republic of Zambia, paid a state visit to the United Republic of Tanzania on this day, the 2nd of August, 2022. Hichilema Ali sindikizwa na mheshimiwa honorable Stanley Kakube ambayo ni mbunge lakini rais wa mambo ya nje na ushirikiano wa kimataifa na mheshimiwa mheshimiwa rais ali sindikizwa pia na mheshimiwa Chipoka Mlenga ambaye ni mbunge na waziri wa biashara na viwanda na pia katika ujumbe wake kulikuwa na mheshimiwa Franki Tayari ambaye ni mbunge na waziri wa usafirishaji na pia kwenye ujumbe wake kulikuwa na mheshimiwa engineer P Peter Kapala ambaye ni mbunge lakini pia ni waziri wa nishati mheshimiwa rais pia ameamba tana na maafisa wengine waandamizi wa serikali yake mheshimiwa rais Hakainde Ichilema alitoa shukurani kwa mheshimiwa rais na wananchi wa Tanzania kwa makaribisho mazuri ambayo aliyapata yeye na ujumbe wake walipofika hapa kwa mara ya kwanza leo wakati wa ziara hii wakuu wa nchi hao wawili wali 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 eleza nia yao ya kukuza mahusiano ya kis, ya kidiplomasia lakini pia walipongeza jitihada ambazo zilizofanywa na waasisi wa mataifa haya mawili mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere na Kenneth Kaunda katika 
kuimarisha mashirikiano ya kisiasa na kiuchumi ambayo tumeyafurahia hadi leo walieleza pia kuridhishwa na mahusiano kati ya nchi mbili ambayo ni ya muda mrefu lakini pia ushirikiano ambao umekuwepo kati ya nchi zetu mbili lakini pia waliahidi kudumisha ushirikiano katika sekta mbalimbali zenye mbali, maslahi ya pamoja kwa ni pamoja biashara miundo mbinu nishati uwekezaji ulinzi usalama na uhamiaji Maswala muhimu yaliyojadiliwa ni pamoja na Tanzania ya Tazara Tanzania Real Authority lakini pia bomba la mafuta la Tazama lakini pia bandari ya Dar es Salaam ya Tanzania lakini pia reli ya kisasa SGR kuhusu tazara wakuu wa nchi walionyesha umuhimu wa kufufua na kuihuisha kampuni ya tazara kwa kuangalia umuhimu wa kiuchumi katika kusafirisha mizigo na watu katika nchi mbili ambapo na pia kwa nchi zingine katika ukanda huu kwa hiyo katika mtazamo huu wa kuwa nchi walisema wanayonia ya dhamira ya kufufua upya tazara ili uweze kuto kukua na ufanisi zaidi kwa ajili ya kuwezesha biashara wakuu wa nchi wawili walionyesha pia umuhimu wa kuendeleza ushirikiano katika ku kufufua hiyo tazara ambayo kwa kiasi kikubwa utapungua gharama za kufanya biashara na pia kuongeza ushindani nchini Zambia na nchini Tanzania lakini pia katika eneo la Sadeki lote na utendaji kazi wa tazara hauta atawezesha kusaidia kusafirisha watu na mizigo lakini utapunguza uharibifu wa barabara na majadiliano yalijikita kwenye kuboresha kuongeza ufanisi kwenye bandari ya Dar es Salaam lakini pia kwenye kituo cha huduma za moja mpakani kuhusu tazama wakuu nchi walionyesha umuhimu wa bomba hilo katika kukuza uchumi na maendeleo na katika mkutadha huo waliahidi kuboresha huduma za tazama ili liwe na ufanisi zaidi na liwe na faida zaidi kwa ajili ya manufaa ya nchi mbili na kwa kuangalia na kuhusu bandari ya Dar es Salaam Mheshimiwa Samia Suluh Hassan alimweleza Mheshimiwa Hakainde Ichilema kuhusu maendeleo yaliyofanyika katika kuboresha tija na ufanisi wa bandari ya Dar es Salaam e, ba, kwenye mradi wa kuiboresha Mheshimiwa Ichilema alipongeza po, serikali ya Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania kwa hatua ambayo wameipiga katika kuboresha bandari lakini pia akasema e, Zambia itaendelea kuitumia bandari ya Dar es Salaam na kwamba wana nia kuendelea kufanya kazi kwa karibu na Tanzania katika kutatua changamoto zilizopo na kuhusu reli ya kisasa ya SGR mheshimiwa Samia Suluh Hassan alimtaarifu mheshimiwa Rais Hakainde Ichilema kuhusu maendeleo yaliyofanyika katika kuboresha sekta ya rerwe e, kutoka ile geji ya zamani kwenda kwenye geji ya kisasa. Mheshimiwa Hakainde Ichilema alipongeza jitihada zilizofanywa na serikali ya muungano wa Tanzania na kumjulisha mwenzake mheshimiwa rais kuhusu mipango ya Zambia ya kuboresha mifumo yake ya lerwe lakini alionyesha pia dhamira ya serikali yao kujifunza kutoka Tanzania wakuu hao wa nchi wawili wali walishuhudia kusainiwa kwa mikataba mitatu mkataba wa kwanza ni kati ya serikali ya Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania na serikali ya Jamhuri Zambia kuhusu ushirikiano wa kijeshi na wa pili mkataba wa pili ni kuhusu utekelezaji utekelezaji uh, kati ya serikali mbili serikali ya Tanzania na Zambia kuhusu mabadilishano ya mafunzo ya kijeshi kwenye mafu, eh, 
kwa, kwa wanajeshi wao lakini mkataba wa tatu kati ya Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania na Jamhuri ya Zambia ni kwenye eneo la sanaa na utamaduni wakuu wa nchi bali na hapo walieleza dhamira yao ya kuendelea kuboresha na kukuza mahusiano na katika hilo wakatoa maelekezo kwa mawaziri wa mambo ya nje ku, kukutana kwenye sh, 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 kwenye JPC e, kamati ya ushirikiano ambayo itafanyika kule Zambia kabla ya tarehe 31 Disemba mwaka huu lakini pia walikuwa na fursa ya kubadilishana mawazo kuhusu masuala ya kikanda na kuonyesha dhamira yao ya kuboresha ushirikiano kwa kufanya kazi kwa pamoja na ku O, na kusukuma ajenda ya maendeleo ya SADC lakini pile ile ya umoja wa Afrika kwa ile ajenda ya na moja kuhusu Afrika tunayoitaka na pia wakuwa nchi walionyesha umuhimu wa amani na usalama katika ajenda ya mtangamano wa kikanda na katika hilo wakasema wataendelea kushirikiana kuhusu maswala yanayohusiana na amani na usalama katika ukanda wetu na kwenye kuhitimisha ziara hiyo mheshimiwa Hichilema alitoa shukurani dhati kwa mheshimiwa Rais Samia Suluh Hassan kwa kumalika kuizuru Tanzania mheshimiwa Hakainde Hichilema alitoa pia uh, alitoa mwaliko kwa mheshimiwa Samia Suluh Hassan kutembelea Zambia kwa tarehe ambayo watakubaliana wote kwa njia za kidiplomasia waheshimiwa maraisi mazimio haya yatasainiwa leo hapa Dar es Salaam ikulu ya Dar es Salaam hii siku ya tarehe mbili Agosti 2022 waheshimiwa maraisi ni, ni, ni na from and na ma, ma, na sisi kama mawaziri tunayo jukumu la kutekeleza maazimio haya ambayo umeyatoa uh, and nashukuru na, na kuona kwamba mheshimiwa Itilema amekuwa akisikiliza akinisikiliza kwa Kiswahili wakati nikisoma Kiingereza ninashukuru sana Ah, thank you honorable minister of foreign affairs East Africa Balozi Liberata Mulamula kwa joint community ambao wamesoma hivi punde. Washoma rais baada ya community hiyo kitakachofuata sasa ni dhifa ya chakula cha mchana ambapo mheshimiwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania mheshimiwa Samia Suluh Hassan amemwandalia mgeni wake mheshimiwa rais Chelema rais wa Zambia. Washoma rais sasa tuombe kwa ruhusu ili kuweza kuelekea katika eneo ambalo mliwaandaliwa na baadaye viongozi nitawaelekeza katika eneo ambapo chakula hicho cha mchana kitakuwepo na baadaye marais wataungana nasi asanteni Mheshimiwa viongozi sasa tutaelekea katika ukumbi sehemu ya pili tu tukitoka nje taelekezwa ambapo tutaingia kwa ajili ya chakula cha mchana katika dhifa chakula cha mchana kilichoandaliwa na mheshimiwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania asanteni badili kitu Utanzania wangu ni muungano wetu na tofauti zetu si badili kitu 